Hi guys, Allison here. Happy Fuse Glass Friday. <clears throat> so as you can see, I have a little setup here and all these little jars are all of my powdered frit that I'll be using today uh, for the beginning of this project. So what I'm starting on, I have a clear and then also a white base. Um, I might just move the clear for now just so that the white isn't flipping around. <clears throat> um, but basically for this uh, project, it's going to be a two firing project. Um, so the first step that I'll be doing is applying all of these powdered frits to my white base here. Um, and I'm sort of going for a sunset. So it's sort of like a little uh, miniature desert landscape is going to be, you know, the final product project. Um, but for now, we're just going for the sort of sunset sky. So I do have some uh, photographs that I'm looking here, looking at here off screen on my phone of just, you know, uh, different landscapes, different sunset desert landscapes just for like the color placement. Um, of course, it's not going to look like a photograph, but I just sort of wanted to uh, at least have a reference to look at. So what I'm noticing is that it's a lot of purples and blues up top and then fading into more red, orange, and then yellow on the bottom. So that's what we're going to hopefully go for. Um, I have my mask on because I'm working with powders and I don't want to breathe those in. Um, I'm going to be using, I have these two sizes of sifters. I, I have a larger one as well, but I don't think I'm going to be needing that larger one because I'm working pretty small here. Um, so I'm going to start with cobalt blue. These are also all translucent colors um, since I'm working on top of the white. I, I could have used opaques as well. Um, I just wanted to see what this looked like with the translucents. <clears throat> So, some cobalt blue. I'm going to be trying to leave uh, some white space as well to sort of look like the clouds. Um, or I'm going to, I'm going to intend to anyways, let's see how well that works. I think I'm going to switch to the smaller sifter here. like using the same color and just fading it into other colors. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying.
Okay, so I think I'm finished uh, with this sort of stage one of this project. So like I said at the beginning, I'm going to fire this whole project on top of this clear base and I'm gonna do a full fuse. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys tomorrow with step two. See you then. All right guys, welcome back. We have our fired here with all of those nice sunset colors. Um, I did go ahead and actually add some nichrome wire hooks as well. Um, I didn't mention that because that was a last minute decision on my part. So we have this done and now what I'm going to be using is a black Fuse Master enamel powder. So I have this then mixed with the water friendly medium. So I pre-mixed it in this little cup here, um, sort of the consistency of paint. I think this will be okay. I might have to make it a little bit thicker or maybe do a couple layers, um, but I haven't tried it yet. So let's see how it applies. So I have a paintbrush here. Don't know if this is the right tool for the job. We're gonna find out. Oh, look at that. That's going on perfect. So I'm just going to cover this entire thing with the black enamel. And then what my plan is, is to wait for this to dry and then I will be scratching parts of it off to expose the color and then leaving some of it on um, to have the black like silhouette on top. 
So this is actually going on really, really nicely. Nice even coverage. Try to get both sides over here. All right. Um, looks pretty good. So I am just going to let this dry for a couple minutes, and I will be back. All right, so it's all dry now. Um, I got a little impatient, so I actually just went and got a hair dryer to try it faster. So pro tip, that worked really well. Um, what I'm going to be using to to uh, scrape the enamel off here is um, these are I think ceramic tools initially, but basically just you know metal tools, all different shapes. Um, we'll have to see what works. This one's probably going to be good, the little flat bit. Um, and then these are like wire tools also for clay. Um, I think those would be good. So let me see how I'm going to make my design. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and draw sort of like the initial sketch um, with this one. Or not, not really draw, but you know, like scratch it in. <clears throat> um, I can always go back in and fill in with additional um, enamel because if, if I scratch off a part that I'm like oh shoot I shouldn't have scratched that off um, I can go go back in and do that so I'm not going to be I'm going to try to not be too terribly concerned about you know getting it exactly perfect we all know I'm not terribly good at perfect anyways Just sort of going for a nice cactus shape here. Uh, Okay, so let's start there. I don't know, let me see if you can see that. Oh yeah, it's picking up pretty well. Um, so basically I have my little outline. I'm gonna then go back in and scrape off um, the excess basically around my little drawing. Now, I don't think that I'm going to want to get off every last little bit of black. Like I feel like I want it to look sort of like a sketch. But we'll see how that goes, see if I'm able to uh, sort of get the look that I was thinking I wanted. Uh, the noise is a little bit nails <laughs> nails on a chalkboard using these metal tools on the glass. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. Not, not terrible, not too, too bad.
All right, I think I'm done. Of course I say that and I'm kind of going back. Um, overall, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, let me zoom you in. So I went ahead and actually signed it down here. I, typically I wait till projects are done and then sign them with a um, like an engraving stylus. But I figured since I was doing all this work down here, might as well just sign it now. Yeah, so pretty happy with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this again and I'll show you the finished product tomorrow. See you then. Hi guys, welcome back. I have the final fused project here. Um, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I love all the detail I was able to get, like with the little like, you know, grass spikes here. Um, I do think I could have been a little bit neater maybe around the cactuses, cacti, um, and maybe a little bit more consistent with what I left in the background. Like this is like really open here and then <clears throat> there's sort of more black in this area over here. But overall, I think it looks really cool. Uh, I think the effect with the powdered frit in the background as the sunset is really, you know, exactly what I was going for. So overall, 10 out of 10, quite pleased. Probably will do this again. Um, let me just show you the back of it. Uh, so some of the enamel sort of like leaked under the project. That's okay, it doesn't really matter to the back. And then I have my fused in hooks there. Yeah, overall, really, really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you did, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every Friday. So I'll see you next week. Bye.